Here I am down the beach and I'm actually octopus hunting. I'm looking for the blue ring octopus. It's, uh, okay, it's deadly venomous. It's got an extreme neurotoxin which can kill people. But hardly anybody ever gets bitten because they're so hard to find. In fact, I probably won't even find one today. But along the way, I'm going to find some interesting animals. Uh, I'm going to find some of my favourite animals here anyway. Time of the year at the moment, we're actually sort of in winter time. And the hope is to try and find a blue ring octopus female, which uh, may have eggs under her, what, I guess what you'd call a skirt. So that, that's the hope. But uh, as I'm down here, there's so many beautiful animals. Every time you lift up a rock, it's just teeming with wildlife. There's just so much wildlife here, so we're off for an adventure. Looks like I got a lump of seaweed, but this is actually what we call a spider crab or a decorated spider crab. Some people just call them the decorated crab. And it's just one of my favorite, all time favorite animals. It's gorgeous, isn't it, eh? Now, beautiful fine little nippers here. I've actually, when I, was, uh, when I was a teenager, I used to come down and catch these guys, keep them in an aquarium as a pet and I could watch them. And what we've got here, this, this sort of furriness there is just like Velcro. And with their claws here, they'll actually, they'll snip a little bit of seaweed off and they'll get there and they'll jam it into their back and on their legs. See the little fur on the legs there? And that's what uh, gives them this sort of an appearance like, a, like seaweed. Underneath here, see the sort of tail there, it's really wide across there. And that's a sign that uh, this is a female. If it was a male, it would be much more pointy and narrow there. I don't want her out for too long. Come on. I'm be lucky to get anything here. Come on, there we go. Stay still. And you can see why they're called spider crabs. They so look a little bit like a tarantula as they move around. Pretty beautiful. All right. I actually don't want to keep her out of water for too long, so I think I'm going to put her back. 